All right, what's up? How's everybody doing tonight? Chilling in Alabama, man. 72 degrees, and she's still tanking. 72 degrees. I think we're going all the way down to 61 tonight. That's going to be sweet. Can't wait. Looking for this colder weather, man. I'm enjoying it. All right, guys. I want to recap. I want to touch on yesterday's video. For those of you that are just tuning into my channel, what I do is I trade AMC for free shares. I never walk with profit. I just take free shares, man, so that when this thing finally blows, old Teddy Dog's going to have him five, six, seven thousand, eight thousand 7,000, 8,000 shares. Um, yesterday, I said we were going to open red today because you're not going to have two days to where you have in a row, you got, you know, day one, $2 spike at open, day two, $2 to $3 spike at open. It's not going to happen on day three. Day three is going to be red. You don't get that gift every single day. It's almost like it's clockwork, man. The third day she tanks. And the reason I said don't ever trade on a red day, I want you to look at your platforms or your broker broker firm, whoever you broker with, and I just want you to track today's progress. I want you to go all the way early, uh, you know, early this morning if you're with Webull, you know, you get to trade at like 4 o'clock in the morning. I think some of you guys on... Uh, Robin Hood get to start trading at 8 in the morning, whatever. Look at the open and follow it all throughout the day. What, what did she do that just screams, do not trade this thing today? What did she do? If you follow, you saw it tanked, I believe, $45.45. $45.45 .45 would have been the absolute lowest you could have got in. A lot of you don't even realize it hit that low, but it did. If anybody knows of it going any lower and you were able to buy in even lower than that, let me know. The lowest I know of on every single platform, you know they're all different. One platform might show it only hit 45.80, 45.90. A certain platform, $45.45. You were able to buy in AMC this morning. If you traded it last night at the 48.50.60 mark, which a lot of you guys do. You will trade them, which I don't like to do that. There's tricks to that, man. And, and occasionally I will do it. But yesterday it was obvious I was too busy. I couldn't pull that trade. Had my head been in the game, I would have broken my own rule because I knew that 48, 50, or 60 was very short-lived. It was fake. It was a fake bounce, man. And I knew she'd be crumbling after that. There's no way in hell it was going to hold it yesterday. But what you notice today was just very slight stair-stepping up and then a very slight step down, stair-step up. No dramatic moves today. Did you see that? So that's why I don't want you guys to just take it, you know, for the way I'm dishing it out to you. I want you to understand it. I want you to go in, look at your platform and follow it all throughout the day. What happened? All it did was small stair-steps a step down, stair steps up, step down. It was so minute you couldn't trade it today. There was absolutely no point. I don't know anybody that actually sold AMC this morning and would have bought back in. It would have been absolutely retarded, ridiculous. You couldn't do it or at any point. Now, towards the end of the day, you saw the 48. She starts climbing. She starts showing some really good power, a lot of buying power going up. This one has me puzzled. I just want you guys to know this one has me puzzled. If anybody says they can pinpoint this one, I they're going to be wrong. Because I'm going to tell you right now, I do not have this one. Most of the time, I, I'm like, I'm almost confident in what's going to happen tomorrow. And sometimes I get it wrong, but in my head, I was really confident that this was going to happen. And something got in the way of that happening. Like yesterday, I was really confident. The past two days, I was super confident. We were opening with two green days to trade. Two, uh, I'm sorry, uh, yeah, two in a row. Tomorrow, I believe, and I'm not a financial advisor, so you know what I'm saying? I'm not 100% sure on this. I'm not even confident in it myself, but this is what I think is going to happen tomorrow. Because you showed, we showed so much uh, strength and buying power going into the close, and it maintained that's usually a sign that it's going to maintain into the open. It's going to climb into the open to maybe 50, 51, 52, and then it's going to sell off. So tomorrow is going to present a, a beautiful 
but risky day trade to get you more free shares. And what I mean by risky is if you don't know what you're doing and you see that 51, that 52, you got to understand how much momentum is behind the 51, the 52. Make sure you know because if there's a ton of momentum, don't you dare sell. Don't sell because the momentum means she's going to 53, 54, 55, 56. She could skip right over 55 and go right to 56, 57. Okay, it could be one of those days that a freaking gamma squeeze something fucking comes out of nowhere. Okay, and you sell because you're like, oh, hey, there's the 52. I've been waiting on that number. No, that's not what we do. We don't wait on a certain number when you're in new territory. You let the damn stock market tell you what the hell is going to happen. And then you follow suit the next day or two or three after you've seen a trend and you can predict the trend. So don't ever jump into these new numbers and think you got it figured out because that's how you guys lose. This is why I am so successful at trading AMC and I've only lost 50 shares up until this point and I'm way over 1,000 now. I'm at like 1,300 and something shares that I've gained for free on AMC because I have all these really strict rules that I made up. I just, I'm like, okay, I learned this. Like I learned never to freaking sell and be out of the game for the following day. I learned that lesson a long freaking time ago. And you can take all these, you know, ideas that I have and you use them for whatever stock you want to use them on. Use them for crypto, whatever. Um, but if you use every single one of these little ideas that I have, everybody's got their own way. Everybody's got their own way. And of course, I have to follow charts to make sure the trend that I'm predicting is accurate. Because if I'm going to predict a trend on day three, I would have to have seen it several times for me to be able to trade it and know for a fact I'm going to get it right because when I trade guys I trade all my all, every single share I have if I have 6,000 shares bet your ass all 6,000 are gone I sell all 6,000 I'm that confident that I'm I'm going to strike that one to two dollar hit and I'm going to be able to buy them all back on the cheap that's the whole point sell them high buy them back on the cheap be able to predict that shit past few days it's been pretty damn easy they, they've been gifts i'm calling them gifts because it's been too easy tomorrow is going to be a little bizarre so now tomorrow so today was a bad day to trade unless you pulled the 48 from the day prior and you bought back in at the 45 45 50 60 whatever and then you had that beautiful you had that swing trade and you held it all day today now, you don't want to sell at the 48 towards the end of the day. You saw the 48.50. I hope to God you guys didn't sell. I hope you're, you're holding because that means going into tomorrow, you could see 50, 51, 52. You could see or hit that and then sell off. Okay, but again, pay attention. Pay attention to the power behind those numbers before you just, you know, foolishly sell. Or, or just don't sell, period. Hold. All right, hold. Screw a couple free shares at this point. Just hold, okay? Keep your money in and help the apes help get to that next level, which is what I'm going to do. My money is in right now. If she's going to $52 or $53, my money's in. My money's going to help get to that, that next level. But as soon as I see it gas out and I see her coming down, you know what that means, guys, when she's coming down? They like to use the word consolidate, but that just means all the profit takers are walking, which three, four, five, six hundred thousand. Come on, guys, if you got over a, a hundred million volume, 150 million volume, think of how many people are buying in and walking, buying in and walking, buying in and walking. Okay, so why be that fool that says, Well, I'm gonna stick it out, even though she's coming down and she's tanking and she's tanking hard, and you can make a real beautiful day trade. But you're like, no, I'm going to stick it out. Well, 500,000 people just took profit. And you were, you could have been 500,000 and won. It made absolutely no difference that you didn't get your free shares. You could have. You would have had absolutely no mark on the market. Nobody would have even known little old you took them shares. All right? As like everybody wants you to think, oh my God, you're hurting the market. No, I'm just one little guy over here doing what 400,000 other people are doing. All right, so why should I suffer? Why should I sit out? You see, don't be giving people like, it's a lot of negative shit, a lot of negative comments out there. When so much illegal stuff is being done to us, I think we deserve 
a few free shares of AMC. For all the shit that we're having to put up with, for all the illegal crap, the SEC isn't doing anything. The SEC isn't even, you know, coming out and saying, hey guys, we are working on this. We are going to make a difference. Nah, nothing. Crickets, man. Nothing's going down in favor of the retail investor, the apes. The only thing that's going down is we know there's more dirty tricks behind that curtain that we're not being told. All right, we know there's more illegal shit going on. You think they're gonna come out and tell us, oh, hey, yeah, we allowed another uh, 50,000 synthetics today. We allowed another, you know, uh, 500,000 synthetics today. We're allowing synthetics to cover off of your legal shares. Oh my God. You know what I'm saying? It's all illegal, man. All that bullshit with those synthetics. So all I'm saying is if you can somehow beat the big man while you wait for the squeeze, beat the big man take it all right before i go i got a stupid joke foolish joke for you guys i heard it this morning and i started laughing man it's goofy i love goofy jokes so what's the difference between afghanistan and abu dhabi what's the difference between afghanistan and abu dhabi all right afghanistan doesn't like the flintstones but abu dhabi do there you go how stupid right Abu Dhabi do. Abu Dhabi do. Like the Flintstones. They do. All right, everybody. That's it for the night. Be careful. Tomorrow could be an amazing day for AMC. So you better have your money in. Don't be foolish. Till tomorrow, baby. Doja Warrior out. Y'all have an awesome night. Shaboom. Peace.